Good morning, everyone. Today I will be making uh, pepper chicken. I have been marinating the pepper chicken for about uh, six hours, actually overnight. I use a few uh, different sauces to marinate that. And um, I'll be doing a mild cook. So I'll be um, initially using the instant pot and then later I'll transfer it to the um, Char Grilla 50-50 barbecue. See you later. So at this point, I just brought the marinated chicken from the fridge. As uh, we can see that, it's been marinated for over six hours. And I'll be using the instant pot to do the first set of cook. And um, for my steam, I'll be using the apple juice, the sunripe apple juice to uh, get that steaming. Um, <clears throat> right now I have my apple juice in the instant pot. And I'll be turning that on in a minute. So let me just quickly get that popped here. So it's plugged right now, as you can see it's saying off. I'm not gonna turn it off now, I'm gonna have to put the chicken in first. So let me quickly grab my chicken. I'll be putting them inside. I'm just gonna set set them on the on the grate. And I'll cook for about 20 minutes, 15 minutes, thereabouts, just to get it cooked properly before uh, grilling it. At this time, I already have my um, marinated chicken set in the instant pot, and I will be showing you how to get this appliance ready and set to cook. So before you go ahead to get that covered, you will take a look at the seal inside. You ensure that the seal isn't like that, but ensure it's all round the uh, metal plate. The reason for that is because if it's not properly around it your instant pot is not going to seal and it won't have pressure build up now i have my instant pot covered to ensure it's properly sealed once you have the lead on it you'll just follow the direction it's on the lead over there so you tilt that's locking it and whenever you're done if you want to open that you open like that. So I'm, I'm just going to lock it right now. And because I need the pressure to build up, that there's a vent in here, um, kind of cap. So you put it on seal. Mine is on seal right now, as you can see. But if you want to let the pressure out, you set it to vent. But I, at this moment, I'll be leaving it on seal. I have, haven't covered the pressure of the instant pot properly. We now um, adjust the setting. And in order to do that, what I'm gonna do is to press, press the pressure cook. It's already on 15 minutes now. You might wanna increase your cook time if you feel like, but I'll only be cooking it for 15 minutes. So I'm gonna readjust that and I'll wait. After some time, it's gonna come on. So right now it's on, and all I need to do is just wait for it to start cooking. Um, it's now ready. Can you see the indication? It, it made a beep, telling me it's ready. So I'll be um, venting it now. So that's how to open the vent. And it's gonna go like that for some time. And when it's done, I will 
um, show you what's next. Now that it's done venting, I'll be opening the instant pot so we can see the content. Okay, so that's mildly cooked. It's mild, my um, chicken is mildly cooked now. And what I'll be doing next is to transfer them onto the grill outside. Now I have my chicken in the bowl and we are ready to go on the grill. So it's a sunny day today in the prairies and I'll be grilling my chicken on, on that smoker. Like I mentioned earlier, I already have my chicken uh, partially cooked on the instant pot and we'll be sending it on to that side of the grill to cook for about 10 minutes so we can have it yummy. See you later. So what I'll be doing now is to get my grill ignited and start the fire. So that's going. And I need to bring the temperature up. I want to get that warm. And once it's warm, we will transfer our chicken onto there. So I have my temperature now up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit and that's 150 degrees centigrade. And it's time to transfer my chicken on the grill. We have our chicken on the grill and I already lowered the temperatures. And um, we'll wait for about 20 minutes to turn them around turn them over and see you later. I'll be dubbing my chicken with the smoking habanero fume. That's what it looks like right now. So I'm doing that quickly. Um, so I'll be, dab I'll be using that. The smoking habanero fume. I'll apply that to my chicken to give it some flavor. So, <clears throat> so as you can see, I'm applying that smoking habanero fume generously on my chicken. That gives it a very unique barbecue, barbecue flavor. So I'll be carving that and cooking again for about 20 minutes. 10 minutes now and I need to turn turn my chicken over turn it over so it can get done all, ar all around and also I'll be adding my my barbecue sauce on the other side so I'm um, applying the habanero sauce or the barbecue sauce on the other side I'm applying it generously. So um, we only have about 20 more minutes and my pepper chicken barbecue will be done. See you guys later. Time to check the pepper chicken. It's cooking now at about 350 degrees. So I'm gonna have to spray it down. So doesn't get too dry. I'm just sp spraying with uh, like regular water. It doesn't get very dry. So I'll be turning it again just to see the other side, what it looks like now. So once I'm done turning, 
I'll let it cook for about 10 more minutes and we'll be ready. That one looks good. So see you guys later. 25, 30 minutes into the cook. It's time to get uh, pepper chicken off the grill. Wow, that smells so yummy. So we'll be getting them off the grill and it's ready for serving now. So I cook this for a total of 25 to 30 minutes. So my pepper chicken is ready and I have uh, some potatoes in the aluminum foil. So I'll be eating the chicken with some potatoes on this very bright sunny day. So guys, that's how to make pepper chicken over your char griller 50-50 uh, barbecue grill. So guys, um, that brings us to the end of our cook. We have a uh, chicken our pepper chicken over there and we have the potato over there um give me a thumbs up or subscribe to this channel if you really like this video and have a wonderful day